Mr. here again and today we're going to have a tutorial on triple piston extenders. I'm going to try and work my way through um, explaining what's going on here first. Um, let's go ahead and just flip that. And basically when this gets powered on, we got a little torch ladder here, which is automatically going to make them all go up. And all this circuitry back here is for the uh, return process back to rested state. So what we're going to do is when we flip the lever, it's obviously going to change all the torches. Now when it gets flipped, everything on this side here gets powered as far as here and as soon as we flip that power off turn the lever back off the uh, lamp here is what's going to make everything happen and it'll come down to this lamp well this this right here will be the first stage so we're going to have our initial power sir, um, pulse from these repeaters into all of these repeaters and these repeaters are set up the timing so that when this is flipped off this dust is going to flicker a couple times so all of these all three layers and there's actually more than three layers but these right here are all set up and timed right so that it contract uh, it retracts how it should so we basically that's the first part and the second part is going to also do another pulse it's going to send another pulse from here through the line which there is one on the bottom here on the ground we get this one here we get this one, one next to it, one up here, one here. So there is multiple layers to this thing. <laughs> and <clears throat> it was a pain getting this thing just right. But um, I'm going to go ahead and do my best to redo this thing for you guys. Um, it's fairly new. I just got it working last night, so I'm going to try my best to reproduce it. I'm probably going to have to look over there as far as timings because that was the rough part of this. You know, planning it out wasn't a problem. It was all of the timing. It was a huge deal. All right, so we're going to block there. Two repeaters here. We're going to have dust here. We're going to have to dig down here and over. No, not over. I fixed that. So it's just straight. So we'll go ahead and put that there. I'm going to go ahead and just <clears throat> block these up. And I think that's right. Well, yeah, of course. But don't need no. See, we don't need the one. I think I'm already off to a bad start. Yep, I am. I put it in the wrong spot. Alright, so we're going to have one here. Dang, I actually I put it in the <laughs> exact same spot. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and just do this real quick. So we don't have to come back to the front. Oops. And I'll put a lever there. I'm gonna put a torch here. Lock on it. Torch here. Lock on that. I'm gonna put a torch here and a block there. And then a torch off of here for the light circuit or for the lamp you're gonna have that there and that's about where we're gonna stop for that so why is that oh 
put it in the wrong spot. <clears throat> that one does not get anything. This gets connected to a block in a minute. Because it's going to run under and it's also going to get powered by this block. So we'll put that. I don't know why I put a block there, but oh yeah, I do. Okay, so we're gonna have two repeaters here. Block back, dust, and I didn't need the half slab. But I did in the earlier earlier version because uh, I had wild dust running through there. Alright, so we're going to drop a block there, take that block out, put a block there, take this one out, and we'll go ahead and do this. Take that block out, and that block's not going to be needed, because that's where our dust is going to go. So we'll go ahead and drop that there, and... Do one more row. Oh, too far. And I actually need to bring these out. One more. Two more. Alright. So. Right. Yeah, let me, uh, yeah, I'll do it that way. Alright, so. Bring that down. That one's not needed. Don't need the piston, so we'll get rid of those. And replace it with Observer. Place your Observer there. And then it's basically just making a set of stairs. And then all these blocks are not needed. could have left them there but yeah so this has to come out a little bit more because this stuff has to be a little bit or close to being pretty much even and one more and bust that out don't really need it we're gonna put a repeater here for tick delay gonna run our dust down and then we're going to go ahead and make our little cross pieces here. And let's see, we got one, two, there, not there. that one there all right and we're gonna put our repeaters here and it's going to be one or two three and three so we're gonna need a three three and a two and then here is another repeater which it should be four nope three okay so we'll put that one on three. Now put dust here and here. And then we're going to put a lamp here with an observer coming out. Put a block here. And yeah, I took the repeater out. Okay. So we'll put that there. And dust there. And dust up. Don't need one there. All right, and that's right. I had one running off the lamp, which is sitting down one. So we'll put that there. Come back one. Run some dust up there. Yeah, okay, I did put a repeater. All right, one. So we'll put that there. 
And that will be... Wait a minute. That's right. I ran it off the observer so that the repeater is not showing. So I'll bring this block out one more. Put some dust. Dust. Block here to cut the it going into the rest of the line. Alright. And then the only thing left is just timing. So let's see, we got bottom row, we've got two, two, one. just place that one all right and our next one is going to be three and two and then the dust two three and dust now the top one is going to be two and one one and then we got to switch to the inside which well it should already be set up everything should be good there and we have our bottom ones which are going to be two and one two and one and that should be about it. Let's make sure here. <clears throat> well, we'll just give it a dry run, see what it does. Up will be no problem. Let the runs, redstone run through and then give it a shot. Nope, we got something off. All right. And I'm betting I know which ones it was. Four. Okay. All right. Give it another run. Nope. Got something wrong. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't think I did. I didn't connect it. That's why things were looking kind of funny. Oh, I didn't even let this stuff run through. Alright. That is that. And then all you have to do is just clean it up. And that's one floor. And the great thing about these is... That right there is going to be your upper floor. And you have enough room when this thing is down to walk out of there. So this is a nice hidden entrance. Hook up a T-flip flop to this with a dust key and you're good to go. This one here was one that got me started. And everybody seeing it, if you watched the video yesterday on double piston extenders um, this is what I was working on at the time it had it was only using sand because I couldn't get that last one to go this one is obviously a little bit bigger you need to go away and it works the same way but it actually uses a little bit more resources I mean, because you got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 repeaters. This one uses far less. Well, not far less, but we got uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Maybe no, maybe it uses more. <laughs> okay, I'm wrong. I didn't count it yesterday, but uh, yeah, it, it's just the fact that it's one block smaller, and 
everything on this one, you know, is still hidden. Because, you know, that's going to be your bottom floor. And so everything is still out of sight as far as redstone. It's just this one's a little skinnier, a little more organized. This one is a lot easier to build. And the timing was not, you know, as difficult. Because, as you can see, there are very few repeaters that are actually off four tick. All of these are on four ticks. This one here is different because that controls a couple of different um, pulses or a couple of the different um, stages of the because uh, it does it there once. It's going to cause it, you know, the middle one to retract twice. Or no, maybe once. Yeah, because this one doesn't have a second second set of, uh, um, a second observer. So this one only gets one single pulse. But what it, uh, made it so that, um, it does, uh, this one back here is because of the, um, three tick delay repeaters there's one there and one there and that way when the last piston comes down it's just in time to shoot that one back up but uh, either one is pretty easy to do um, that one's easy now that I've done it but this is the one I started with and it actually wasn't too difficult to get that last one to go once I figured out where to place the repeater for the last pulse but uh, that's it guys um, if you guys need a tutorial on this I don't really think you would just because of the way it's it's exactly the same as that one as far as the torch ladder and here except for it's got a repeater here coming off of this and when this torch comes on this light basically doesn't go off I mean it does but it doesn't I mean it's just fast enough that you don't even notice it but um, that's why I have this going into here or this one goes into the repeater powers it this one goes into the light and repeater and uh, pull and keeps it on but uh, everything is four tick except for the ones I showed you. There's only three, four, oh, one. That one there is on two. This one here is on three. This one here is on three. And then we got three, three, two. But everything else is maxed out. Um, but <clears throat> for me, it's this one here. It's bigger, but, uh, it was a challenge. So, uh, anyways, guys, that's it for this tutorial. <clears throat> I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Um, you feel like leaving a comment, please do. I'm um, always good about getting back to the comments right away. And uh, that's about it, guys. So I will catch you guys in my next video. Make sure you guys are having fun. <laughs>